Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you my favorite chemical way of removing rust. Up until now I've done dozens of videos where I've re removed the rust by scraping and sanding. I showed you how to make these two scrapers right here in the center. They're a very effective tool for scraping rust off of flat surfaces. And there's my lapping station where I use to remove rust. But not everything is flat and a lot of times you'll find something that requires uh, an easier way of removing it than scraping and so for that I'm going to show you what I use. It's a product called Evapo Rust. Super safe rust remover and that is the truth. Non-toxic, biodegradable, safe on skin and eyes. I haven't tried that in the eyes. Definitely reusable. I've reused Evapo Rust for well over a year and put a lot of stuff into it. I haven't done a lot of use of evapor rust in the last several years. I don't know why, I just got away from it. But I had somebody ask, what do you do when you've got really deep pits? How do you get the rust out? I've used evapor rust. So I dug up some of the rustiest stuff I could find to try out. There it is laying right there, a bunch of hammerheads, a couple planes. And the only other thing you need is I put together this thing out of PVC. I made it long enough to fit a 24 inch plane in. So it's about 26 inches cap to cap. One end cap screws out and the other end cap is permanently glued on. You're also going to need some kind of a bucket to store your evapor rust in. I buy enough evapor rust to where I can uh, pretty much fill this container right here when I'm done using it I just put it all in this five gallon bucket and it will keep for a very long time. I wish I had something rustier than these things right here to show you how effective this stuff is. Uh, I don't so it's the best I've got. I do know that from using it I have taken things that were so rusty that you couldn't even identify what it was, put it in evapor rust and in 12 to 24 hours the rust was just gone. Probably one of the most challenging pieces here is going to be this old plane. Rust is down inside the nooks and crannies. It's not real bad. I used to have that thing looking brand new until it got in a tub, got filled with water and sat for six months, so it didn't do it any good. So first thing I want to do is break these planes down. And here's a look at everything broken down. The number two, I believe, is a Siegley plane. i got to look it up, but all the small parts... Uh, they got rust on them. Evapo rust won't do anything to brass, but it has metal uh, threads on it, so I'm going to stick that into rods, the frame, the fences, not the wood, all of these hammers, irons, even the uh, lever cap. It's nickel plated. If there's rust under the nickel plating in the past, I've had the nickel plating come off. That's inevitable if there's rust underneath it. And then the bottom to this number 5 is going to go in. But before they go in, you got to clean them off. The instructions say you don't have to, but it's more effective if you do, and your evapor rust will last longer if what you put in is clean. It'll work through oil, but oil will degrade evapor rust quicker than if you clean the oil off first. They make evapor rust in a lot of sizes, up to like a 250 gallon container. And I bought this at Tractor Supply, but if you look on the internet, you'll see you can buy evapor rust at a lot of different places. So I've dropped everything in this bucket, including the small parts. I got my little duster brush right there. It's got kind of stiff bristles. I'm going to take it with the hose. I'm going to blast everything in the bucket. Take that bristle brush, brush it off, rinse it all, and then bring it back in and be ready to put it into the evapor rust. So after all the parts are rinsed, I'm going to drop them all down into my little PVC container. And with all the parts in the container, next thing you do is add the evapor rust. I'm going to add enough just to completely cover all the parts that are in there. And that took about three quarters of a gallon. And now I'm going to cap it off to prevent evaporation because I want my evapor rust to last. And it's going to sit here in this container for about two hours. I'm going to check it. The instructions say 2 to 12 hours. There's not a whole lot of rust on these things, so I'm thinking 2 hours will do it. 
So it's been an hour and 45 minutes and I got stuff I got to do. So I cut the two hours short. I poured the evapo rust back into my five gallon bucket where I'm going to store it. And I transferred all the other parts into another five gallon bucket that I'm going to use to rinse them off. So I've rinsed everything off and dried them. There hasn't been any scrubbing. And there's a look at the difference. I mean, look at that plain bottom from what it was, covered with rust. And now there's no more rust, just bare metal. Now keep in mind that I cut this short of the two hour minimum time by 15 minutes. So looking at that body right there, there's still some, in the nooks and crannies there's rust, so it could stand to have stayed in a little bit longer. Uh, the iron and the iron cap, they were covered with rust. That's just drying them off, there's how they look. Same with the frog, all the small parts, no more rust. Now the hammers, the hatchet, those four pieces right there came out really good. But those other two in the back, they would have to spend probably another few hours to get all the rust off of those. But you can see the marked difference in what we've got right here. And to finish this demonstration out, I took an old worn sanding sponge that you see there on the right and some 3 out steel wool and about two minutes of work. And there's what the bottom of the plane looks like. So that's about ready to put some uh, dirty oil on and put it back together if I didn't have to redo the entire rest of the plane. And I figured this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't show you a couple of the finished products. The old Siegley number two come out looking really good. There she is. It's got a pretty neat mechanism on this one. It's similar to the Stanley number 45. And the old rust bucket number 5. It came out looking really nice too. It's really neat to remove the rust and uncover these beautiful old planes. And there you have it. A very easy and cost effective way to remove rust from your plane parts and any other tools that you want to work on. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. But we all know what time it is. Time for supper. Bye.